Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to be mixing some chemicals together to create some awesome reactions. These reactions can be dangerous, so protect yourselves at all times. We will start off with a well-known reaction using potassium permanganate and glycerin. Potassium permanganate can be used to purify our water. Just a little in a glass of water will kill all bacteria. For this reaction, we will place some potassium permanganate in a pile and then make a crater and put some glycerin into the middle of it and wait for 30 seconds. You can purchase both of these chemicals at your local pharmacy. Potassium permanganate is also used for cleaning infected wounds. And glycerin can be used on skin to keep smooth and moist. For our next reaction, we are going to be using drain cleaner, also known as sodium hydroxide or caustic soda. We're also going to use some tin foil and some water. You don't need to be too precise with this. Just mix about two tablespoons of caustic soda and with two handfuls of shredded tin foil and about a cup of water. This reaction will create flammable hydrogen gas. Once mixed, it will start the reaction almost immediately. I wanted to store the gas, so I decided to buy these wonderful stretchy balloons. I'm using these because they can stretch over the whole of the container. Of course, you can use regular balloons, but these are easier to work with. And now it's party time. Just warn your neighbors, although the noise isn't as bad as if the hydrogen was mixed with the oxygen. If there was oxygen with the hydrogen, the explosion will be 10 times the sound. For our next reaction, we will be mixing potassium permanganate and sulfuric acid. You will need to add equal amounts to get the reaction. I added a bit too much sulfuric acid and I needed to add more potassium permanganate. Once the mixture is done, you will have a purple pool of lava turning anything organic into flames. For our next reaction, we'll be using potassium nitrate and sugar. You will need to add equal amounts of sugar with potassium nitrate and mix them together. Then melt them to form a brown paste. I made sugar rockets using this formula, but I didn't melt them together. Melting them together works way better than using them just as powders. Potassium nitrate you can get at your local hardware store. It is used as a stump remover and it's also used as a food preservative, so this mixture you could eat in small amounts. 
Once it's melted into a paste, you can pour it into any mold you want. It will then harden in about 5 minutes and is ready for use. You need to be very careful when using this because just one spark can cause it to react. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.